Okay, so that's twice that I tried to do like a vlog shot like this using the 4K and it did not hold my face well at all. So we're not gonna do that, but it is still totally usable in other scenarios. Maybe not when you're trying to do something like a talking headpiece, but as far as like shooting the scene around me or just being able to now get around the, I'm like, I'm not getting the rolling shutter issues that I would get when I'm doing it handheld. The gimbal is solving so many problems for me, it's super exciting. I've had issues with the autofocus in 4K, but as far as just shooting the scene around me, I'm not having a lot of issues. So I'm shooting in 1080p now, I'm gonna switch it back to 4K, and we're gonna shoot the rest of the segment in 4K and see how it does. Let's check it out. And after bringing that footage onto my computer and checking it out, I was able to see that the autofocus in 4K is still struggling, even when just kind of recording my environment around me. Um, it's still workable, still gonna try to use it, so we're gonna take some more shots using the 4K here, see how it comes out. Okay guys, so for those of you that are wondering whether you should pick the Weeble S up or not, I'm definitely going to recommend it. I think it's easy to use, it's definitely exceeded my expectations for just stabilizing my camera, and if you use the M50 or the RP, then it kind of opens up the ability to use the 4K modes a lot more. I didn't really use them because handheld I just got so many rolling shutter issues. But having it on the gimbal, stabilized, seems to have really alleviated a lot of the problems that I've gotten from it. So that's what you've been seeing and you know, for people that do film, 4K isn't about really outputting in 4K necessarily. The ability to crop in in 4K and when I'm putting a timeline together that's 1080p and being able to crop in and not lose the resolution, it's amazing. And I'm walking down a bumpy trail here and we've got the Weeble S and you can see how stable it looks. It's amazing. I couldn't have done anything like this, nothing even close to how smooth this looks without this gimbal. It's awesome. If you guys are looking into gimbals, I definitely recommend the Weeble S. Pick it up, check it out. You're definitely gonna be happy with it. So since I'm here in my favorite place, Jumbo, and we've already done a bunch of shots using the 4K modes, what I'm gonna do now is use the 1080p mode. I'm gonna do it at 60 frames per second so we can slow it down, or stabilize it even more if we need to, which we shouldn't have to since we're using the Weeble S. But let's just go around in the woods and see what we can do and just make some nice buttery smooth shots using the Weeble S as best we can now. Okay, so I'm now running up and down the hill using go mode or using pan follow mode, and go mode didn't yield good results. It definitely reacts too quickly, so you end up getting the jostle of you running. But using pan follow mode worked really well, got really nice smooth results while I was running up the hill, and I was running, you know, definitely not steadily, so check it out.
And okay guys, I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. Again, if you guys are looking at the Weeble S, I definitely recommend it. Check it out, pick it up. If you guys like these videos, please go below, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.